I do want to say I get everyone's package that gets sent to me, and I appreciate every single one of them. What is it about human nature that makes us want to open things so much? That's Casey Neistat's mail time. This is my mail time. Welcome back to another Coins Collect video, and as you can see, I've been buying things again, uh, spending my hard earned money. Um, sadly, this was not sent to me by fans. I did have to buy it. So, let's get into this. There's got lots of goodies here. Um, I'm not sure why I've got a Westminster letter, um, but let's, let's find out. Because there's definitely no coins in there. Obviously some, something they're trying to sell me. Now, I wanted, I was searching for this set of five RAF coins and I couldn't find it on their website. So I bought them individually. I'm hoping that's what's in here. But I bought them individually and now they're sending me the set that's probably cheaper. God damn you. Right, this big box is not coin related. So we will open that one first. I haven't got a switchblade like Casey Nice that, but I've got a Stanley knife, which is just as good. Let's go down the middle here. Be very careful not to go too deep. This has come all the way from Germany because I couldn't find one of these in England or a decent one of these in England. This is a new lens for my camera. It's a Sigma lens, Sigma. Now, I had one of these before, many years ago. Um, it's not a new lens, it's a second-hand lens. Like I said, I had one many years ago, but that was for my Nikon cameras, and I sold all that, and I switched to Canon. And, um, oh, I like to see it, it's all nicely wrapped, good. So yeah, there was no good keeping hold of the lens, because I didn't have a camera for it to work on. So I always promised myself, um, I think I sold it for almost as much as I bought it for years later. So anyway, yeah, I promised myself that when I could, I would get my own Where's the Ah. Oh, it should have a le a lens hood on it. Uh like a, a hood. Anyway, now I made a mess. But anyway, massive, big, chunky lens. And it says Nikon on the body. Nikon cap. Canon base cap. This better fit my bloody Canon. Why has it got Nikon on the lens cap? This is the end that fix the, fixes to the camera. So this, if that's got a Canon cap, that should be Canon. But what the frick is a Nikon lens cap doing on it? <sighs> yeah, nice. 24 to 70, 2.8. So it's not, it is fast, but it's not the most amazing fast, but it is damn good. Right, anyway, I'll check that out a bit later on, put it back in its case. Yeah, I was I found one of these on eBay um, here in England, but none of them had the case, and I, I like to have the case. Um, it helps it protect it, so let's try and clear this up. The thing is these, never quite get rid of all of them. No, don't fall out. Mm. Fall out again. Okay, this is what this video is all about. These two amazing packages, hopefully. We'll do this one first. This is from the 
Royal Mint. Please, please, be what I think it's going to be. Ta da! Woohoo! The 2020, the brilliant uncirculated annual coin set. La la la! So we have all the definitive coins. We have the 2020 Britannia. From now on, that will be the, the definitive £2 coin. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. So then we have the commemorative coins that I don't know as yet if they will be going into circulation, any of these. I'm hoping that this, the 50p, uh, does go into circulation because that would be pretty cool. So yeah, we have the £5 uh, coin celebrate win X amount of years since the death of King George III, I think. Anyway, anyway, not worried about that one. Then we have the £2 coin, the Aspects of Murder. Ooh. 100 years of mystery, Agatha Christie. When that comes out as a bunk coin, I'm gonna to have to buy that for my sister. My sister's got all the Agatha Christie books, so I'm gonna have to get that for her. And then the uh, <laughs> the victory coin, this is a stunning coin. That is just brilliant. That is great. Like that. If I zoom this camera, down a bit more it focuses better at zoom yeah much better yeah victory you've got all the specs there if you want to pause that in the old uh, absolutely absolutely absolute coin style eh? <laughs> absolutely coins um yep yeah, anyway uh there we go the mayflower yeah, and all the specs. That is a, oh look, that's it, there you go. That is a very nice coin, a very nice coin. And then the 50, um, I was about to say 50 years of 50p. The 2020 Team GB coin, celebrating Team GB going to Tokyo. Very nice. Tell you what, it's quite cool seeing 2020 on the coin. Very good. That's nice, isn't it? Nice one. Really chuffed with that. That's fantastic. Right, there we go. Probably never ever look at that ever again, but. <laughs> this is amazing, but what's in this is even more amazing. Let me zoom back out a bit. Because I'm thinking that this is going to complete all of the two pound coins in my change checker album, I think. So, ah, uh, that didn't, oh. It's always very satisfying when you open these envelopes, but that one didn't quite work. Oh yeah, that was good. Let's just tip it out. There, there you go, look, let's just do that. Let's just do that, there, good. Yeah, invoices my dress on. Okay, take them away. Lots of invoices, boring. Lots of these silly cards, boring. Okay, junk, junk, junk. Oh, I've got an album, a page as well. Oh, yes. Okay, don't really need that page, but I guess it's handy to have. Oh, -ho -ho. okay, right, yeah, so I've got, um, what have I got? Change checker app, I need change checker app. All right, denominations, two pounds, all years. Go, go, go. Right, so I'm still looking for a Great Throw of London. And I'm still searching for one, but all the coins last year that didn't go into circulation, like the Jane Austen, I have Jane Austen. Ba, ba, ba. What's that one called? Uh, First World War Aviation. First World War Aviation. Nice. Then we had 
Frankenstein, the REF one, Samuel Peeps, is it? No, that's not Samuel Peeps. Uh, Armistice, Vulcan Bomber, Spitfire. We got that. We got the Spitfire. We got the Spitfire. Good. Sea King. Sea King. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Very nice. What was that? The Lightning, I think it was called. Captain Cook, we've already done that. We've already got that in my album. Samuel Peeps. D-Day Landing. D-Day. Pretty cool special coin. And then we had the Wedgwood. There you go. And that was the other Captain Cook coin that that I've already got in my Change Checker album. And then the ones that are missing there, I bought in this pack because it was cheaper. And because it's change checker, I have no problems ripping them out of this pack. If this was a Royal Mint presentation pack, I wouldn't touch it. But because it's change checker, they are coming out. So, I've got, finally, <laughs> finally I've got a Frankenstein, RAF. Um, RAF Centenary, yep, that's what it's called. And then the Armistice, World War I Armistice. Armistice. Hopefully you can see that, all right, cool. So I'm gonna pop these out and that card is just junk after that. So, oh, so that means I get a free <laughs> The People's Act, I've got a million of those. Um, I've got a jar that's half full of those, uh, but I've got a free People's Act, so I'll put that People's Act in my Change Checker album, because the one in there is only a circulated coin. So, free coin as far as I'm concerned. But yes, um, so it's about time to rip all these coins. <sighs> oh, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Yes, it's about time to rip all these coins out of their cardboard prisons. So, let's zoom out a bit more. Right. Two pound coins, two pound coins. Where are you? Two pound coins, two pound coins are there. Jane Austen is first. So, let's break her out. I don't know if Bungle ever gets uh, criticised for taking these out the coin, uh, taking the coins out the cards. Um, I don't actually. I haven't. No one's really objected too much. Um, in fact, someone once called me a badass for taking the coins out of the holders. Try not to touch the front too much. Struggling to read that is no doing without oh there is there it there is no doing without oh money <laughs> right she goes in where are my little tweezers gone tell ya you need tweezers you need a good pair of tweezers for these albums to get like a tire iron, lift it all up for you, and you can use it to push the coins in as well. Right, Jane Austen. So World War One. That was the plane from above, wasn't it? That is a nice coin. There you go. Looking down onto the plane from above. That is a very nice coin. They always look much better. Get them out of those plastic boxes, those uh, cardboard prisons. <laughs> get them out, get them in your hand, look at them. Fantastic. Yay. I don't advise you to do that with every coin, of course. There are some coins in some packaging that you should never touch but that's a pretty cool coin Mary Shelley's Frankenstein Christopher Clegg's favourite coin 
and that one just pops out so no ripping out of coin cardboard prisons that is pretty smart isn't it I love how I think of these designs in Dr Frankenstein goes and twists straight away uh, REF Centenary cool an absolutely stunning coin makes you feel quite patriotic that coin uh, brave boys in their flying machines look at that uh, Armistice, Armistice, which is the last one in this set, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. The Truth Untold, The Pity of War. Wow. Until you get these coins out of their packaging, you you can't feel how, how rough, how sharp those edges are. They've actually never been anywhere near circulating. So, pretty cool. Really cool Vulcan bomber. Now I don't have Vulcan. Where's Vulcan? Mm. I don't have the Vulcan bomber. Where's that missing? Poos. Right, I don't have the Vulcan. It's not on the paperwork. Looks like for some reason I didn't order it. So that's just uh, that's a bummer. That's a tough one. So we got the Spitfire next. Look at that. Now that is a very patriotic coin. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That goes in next to the Vulcan bomber that I don't have. Oh well. Seeking. Ah, it's a Sea King, but it's got the little little man, little soldier, or uh, oh, of course it's the rescue diver, isn't it? Hanging from the bottom of the plane. Uh, oh, hanging the rescue diver hanging from the bottom of the helicopter. The Sea King. Yay. And the lightning is next. Um, lightning, lightning. Where's the lightning? Oh, maybe I don't have the lightning either. Maybe that's still to come. I did order them, but <sighs> oh well. Maybe those two have got held up. Captain Cook. Samuel, yeah, Samuel Pepys is missing as well, isn't he? So that's three outstanding still. Vulcan Bomber, Lightning, Samuel Peeps. That's the D-Day landing goes in there and Wedgwood goes in there next to Captain Cook. If I'd known I was missing those three, I probably wouldn't have started this video. D-Day landing with all the Names of the beaches, uh, which the Allied forces landed at, on those arrows. Wow. What an important day that was, eh? Get that in the album. And the last one for now, apart from that People's Act, I just realised. Is this Wedgwood, which to be honest with you, I never really, not really impressed, or can't see the point of this one. But I'm hoping once I get it out and actually have a look at it without that plastic around it, it'll look much better than I thought. And well, what do you think? Hmm. Not really all that impressed with that one. 
Sure, it's a nice coin, but a hmm. bit sort of underwhelmed with that one. Wedgwood goes in the album. Right, oh well, so, oh, so frustrating. I always do this, I always think, right, I'm gonna complete, gonna complete the 50Ps, I'm gonna complete the two pound coins, and no. You're missing something, you're missing some. So anyway, Great Fire London, Vulcan, Lightning, Samuel Peeps, Mary Rose, World War One, Navy, Missing and the Commonwealths. Oh, and the old <laughs> old two pound coins. Oh dear. Oh well, they're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to buy them, and I. Right. Flip back over here. People's Act. Let's get this People's Act out of here. Pull it out. It's not a bad one. That's a good version I found. We'll pop this one out because that is a better one. Pretty cool. It's a nice design. I like the designs where they, they can get a lot in, but it doesn't look too busy, too crowded. And that is a nice example of just that. Where they've got a nice design, but they're not, um, you know, too busy. Just telling that story well. The representation of the People's Act. Just got to remember that's a, well, bunk copy, a bunk. A bunk coin, right? That's done. People's Act can then go in the jar. Just the one. Quite a few coins in there now. Must be a little bit of. Must be a few quid in there now. And we're done again. The end of another video. So we filled up a few more spaces, but there's still a long way to go as always. I guess one thing about coin collecting, it will never stop. It will never end. Um, it's, like, it's like when you get a car for the first time, you will always have something to spend your money on forever. Um, and that is same with coins. You'll always have that next coin to buy. So, Okay, thanks for watching. Do the like, subscribe, notification bell, do all that business for me. That really does help me out. Uh, leave some comments. I love reading your comments. Please leave some, it'd be nice. Um, but until the next Coins to Collect video, keep looking out for those Coins to Collect. I messed that up really, didn't I? Because I said Coins to Collect video, and I, I, I normally just say, until the next video, please keep looking out for it. Uh, good night. <laughs>